Since the Nether update dropped, there's been absolutely no question as to what the best armour in the game is. It's Netherite. It looks cool and it gives you pretty good protection against pretty much anything that's thrown at you in the game. But it does leave the question, what is the best enchantment? Now, a lot of the time people will go for Protection 4 because it's a good all-rounder, but is it worth mixing and matching? Are any of these as good? Or should you just go for no enchantments because it's cheaper and less, less hassle? Well, we're going to do a series of tests. We've got a pit of lava, obvious what's going to happen there. We've got a skeleton box, a room full of skeletons. We have got a creeper pit, which is going to fire creepers into a pit. Again, self-explanatory. We have got a TNT blaster. And finally, we've got a pit here, which is going to contain a lot of zombies. To be precise, 64, or a stack of zombie eggs. And that's going to be our final test for just melee damage. We're going to go and see just how good these different enchantments are. Then you can make your own mind up as to what you should be putting on your own armor. So let's get into it. We're going to start by testing the lava pit and we're going to go no enchantments, protection four and fire protection. Those are the ones we're going to test for this one. I'm kitted out with just a standard set of netherite armor. Time to test it against the lava. And here we go. Oh, that's, that's embarrassing. I'm still in creative. Take two. Here we go. Okay, I'd say that went pretty well. Uh, that took 6.9 seconds for us to die, which is probably enough time for you to reach the edge if you were, if you were really quick about it. We're now going to try fire protection and see just how good that is in comparison. Here we go. Okay, so that was pretty good too. That was in fact a lot better. 36.24 seconds it took us to die in that pit of lava whilst wearing fire protection 4. I think it's safe to say that if you can't get out of that lava in 36.24 seconds, you're either in the lava lake in the middle of the nether, in which case uh, I feel sorry for you, or you're just really bad at Minecraft. If it's a pit of lava like this, you should be able to get out there in much less than 36.24 seconds. Anyhow, I'm now wearing Protection 4 and we're gonna try it again. This is our last run at this particular challenge. Protection 4, how long will this last? And here we go. Okay, that was, that was pretty good, wasn't it? 20.61 seconds. Again, that's that's a pretty good time. It's significantly less than fire protection four, but it's a lot more than just box standard armor. I think we could agree that 20 seconds is probably just as good a time to get out of a pool of lava like this. So protection four, yeah, that's pretty decent. Pretty decent protection against lava. On to our next challenge, it's the skeleton box. And I've filled this, well, at least part of this room with skeletons. I'd say this is maybe a comparable amount to if you found a skeleton spawner and just landed in the middle of that little dungeon. So I think this is going to be a pretty good test. First of all, we've got the unenchanted armor. Then we'll go for projectile protection. And then finally again, protection four to see how they all stack up. Okay, changing to survival and starting our timer now. Uh, this didn't turn out as I expected it to. <laughs> I might need to rethink this challenge. Okay, so I've sort of sectioned them off, so I'm hoping that this will now work. There's, a, there's slightly less skeletons, but we shouldn't have any issues now that they can't shoot at each other. So, this is for full netherite armor, but with no enchantments. And three, two, one... Okay, so that took just less than 25 seconds. We got 24.92 seconds it took to die that time, and that was with no enchantment. So I'd say that was that was pretty decent, really. Let's go up with projectile protection. I've got a feeling that this is gonna take possibly even over a minute. Okay, projectile protection four in three, two, one, go.
All right, well, that took a whopping one minute and 26 seconds. So um, I think it's safe to say that projectile protection is a massively handy enchantment if you're going anywhere where there's things like illagers or skeletons, that sort of thing. You're going to be almost indestructible. And finally, protection four. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so in that instance, the skeletons took one minute and almost seven seconds. One minute, oh, six point nine six seconds to kill us. It's important to note, I think, that netherite armor has a natural resistance to arrow knockback. And so that really is boosting up the time it takes to die quite a lot. Protection 4 offered us not far off. It was only 20 seconds off of what projectile protection 4 offers us. So really, I, I always feel like protection 4 as a standard is is really holding its own against these upper specialized enchantments really next it's the creeper test so for this i'm i'm not going to do a countdown as such what i'm going to do is measure how many hearts we have left at the end of one explosion as i think that's going to be a pretty good way to test out this armor so we'll start out with just the one creeper and let's let's see how this goes Wow. Okay, so <laughs> the uh, the blast resistance in full netherite but no enchantments is apparently nothing because we still die if we get in close proximity to one creeper. Okay, so it took one creeper to completely kill us with zero enchantments. Okay, now we're doing one creeper with blast protection four on. Let's see what this leaves us with. Here we go. Okay, so we lost two hearts with Blast Protection 4. That's that's pretty good. Okay, we're now wearing Protection 4. Let's see how we fare against the Creeper Blast this time. Oh, yeah. I'm in creative. Okay, wow. Four hearts that time. So Blast Protection offers double. Okay, now we're going for the TNT Chamber. Um, I think I think we all know what's going to happen with no enchantments but anyway here we go why do i keep doing this okay we're in survival let's try that again here we go yep thought so okay here we go blast protection for Definitely in survival mode this time. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, okay, we lost five hearts and then died from the fall damage. Five hearts it is. We're now in survival with protection four on. Now, even if we don't die from the blast, that'll be an achievement here. Let's see. Here we go. We had one heart left. <laughs> one heart. That's that's pretty good going. Okay, we're on the home straight now, definitely. Our final test is the big pit of zombies. 64 zombies, and we're going to see how much protection Protection 4 does offer us in comparison to just normal unenchanted netherite armor with your standard melee attacks, if, if you could call 64 zombies in a pit standard. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Okay, there are 64 zombies there and they're all quite mad. I suppose let's take a run up. Stopwatch at the ready. And three, two, one, here we go. Okay, <laughs> less than six seconds. Cool. Well, <laughs> that was... That was um, that was no protection. That was just standard armor. Let's let's try, let's try this protection four. Here we go. Six seconds to beat. And three, two, one. Here we go. Ah. 
I mean, that was ridiculous, wasn't it? Look, they're, they're all wearing the netherite armor now. There's, there's one guy there, protection, protection four on that guy. I wouldn't like to face him in a fight. So with protection four, that gave us 13.11 seconds in the zombie pit before we died, which was over twice that of no protection whatsoever. So that's pretty good going. Uh, I mean, these tests have been very silly, but I hope they've given some indication as to what enchantments are the best ones to use on your armor in your particular set of circumstances in survival mode. I know that I'm going to take it into account when I'm playing on my Let's Play server. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I certainly have. I hope that you also found it useful. If you did enjoy it, please like, and if you'd like to see more of this sort of content, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. And before we end the video, here's the, uh, here's the results in a table that you can stare at for a moment, if you so wish. Cheers.